Hello and welcome to my um, recording tonight that I had um, me and my mom was praying tonight in her room about her health and everything like that and we just had first Wednesday yesterday and um, it was really good and it, I was playing Finding Nemo on the computer and um, we was um, doing the service too so every, and everything like that and it's been a couple weeks after a couple um, seven days after my birthday and my birthday is completely finished so I'm not gonna say that anymore so welcome to my recording tonight which will be for about over 30 minutes because I'm playing a game today and I'm gonna oh, teach you um, um only the basics of playing a video game because the game that I'm playing tonight is Kingdom Hearts the, right, the reason why I put the sound on mute because it's gonna make too much noise because namely when people do a video game tutorial um, they usually um, use it in video but when the last time I did it in video it didn't sound too well because I'll try to convert it to HD and it didn't work. So as we go in here, and this is the game I'm playing called Kingdom Hearts. And it's a really long, really, really long game. And the best day to play this kind of type of games is on a Sunday. Why? It's gonna take you a long time to beat the levels, get the items you needed, and beat in the bosses. So you will have to do a lot of things. Like my friend Zach, he knows about a little bit about this kind of games because he played it before. Games like Final Fantasy and all that. Um, my friend Zach knows a, li a little bit, not too much, but my friend Zach knows a little bit about this kind of games because he played this kind of game before. Um, this is my first time playing this Kingdom Hearts and um, Final Fantasy um, series. So. This is a new game. This is where you select for a new file. So you select here, new game. And this is the skill level that you select for each difficulty level. Each difficult um each difficulty level will show how much um weaker and stronger the computer your opponent will be when you fight the heartless. So, um, this is Final Mix Beginner. So, begin with wear items in easy mode. So, you won't be able to synchronize the, um, the ultimate weapon if you play it in easy mode. Final Mix is a well-balanced mode for recommended for first time, for first time, um, uh, for first timers who play this game Kingdom Hearts like me I'm a first timer so I never played this kind of type of game before because I was playing Nintendo for 25 years so and those of you who are a pro and want thrilling battles you play Final Mix Proud encounter tough enemies and for thrilling battles so for people who wants more um items and more um, weapons that you want to synchronize you will have to play Final Mix Proud in all of the Kingdom Hearts games like I've got the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 that is, is similar to the story so I'm just gonna go through the basics because many when when many people do video game tutorials I was like, oh, I'll go show you how to get the ultimate weapon and da 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 da. And I'm gonna show you how to get it. And you gotta go do this and that. But I'm not gonna go through that because many people who play Kingdom Hearts doesn't know the game pretty well. So for first time users, you wanna pick and final mix beginner. And remember, if you pick this mode, if you pick this level. And if you want to get the ultimate weapon, 
you're not going to be able to get the items that you need for get the ultimate weapon so if you want to get the ultimate weapon you might have to play it in final mix or final mix proud so you pick final mix beginner for first for easy mode so you begin with wear items wear items is like you're not going to get the items that you need for synthesized items. So you may you might get the weak ones. And if you want to and if your friend, your friend or friend or somebody who plays Kingdom Hearts and if they tell you to get the ultimate weapon, you might have to play it in Final Mix Standard or Proud. Because this is the two difficulties that you can synthesize to get the ultimate weapon. Which, when you look up on Kingdom Hearts, the game videos, and you look up on how to get the ultimate weapon, they can help you. And for people who want to get the ultimate weapon, you can look it up on YouTube and look up Kingdom Hearts. And the people will tell you how to get the ultimate weapon. Like me, I'm still trying to get it yet, so... Um, I don't know the way how, how, how to do it, but um, when you look up on Kingdom Hearts, um, the video game, for the game, uh, you look it up, and then um, you listen very carefully to what items you need to get the ultimate weapon. Like me, I'm just, start, I'm just a first timer who played this game. I never played Kingdom Hearts before, but I, I beat it the first time. But when I beat it with my friend Zach, I forget after that song. <laughs> so, um, because every time my friend says, Oh, I think I gotta get the book because this guy cannot remember. So, <laughs> and, um, so, yeah, and this is Kingdom Hearts. This is the, um, the first series of the, um, Kingdom Hearts game. So, if, if you are a Kingdom Hearts fan yourself, and you're playing this for the first time, you might want to select Beginner. And you, um, this is the select camera settings, which you can automatically rotate. Or people who use the, you can rotate the, ca rotate the camera with using the right stick. And the settings can be changed at any time during the game. So, but so you can't change the difficulty settings because once you select a setting, you can't change it. So. You only can change the camera setting. So if you, if you pick Final Mix Beginner, which you select this one, you can pick any camera angle you want. Or also like, just pick automatic. Okay? And select vibration settings when, when, when you get hit by an enemy or trying to throw an item or if you're trying to get something, you will hear a vibration. You can leave it on or off. So you just select that. Just to proceed, yes. And it's gonna tell the story about Kingdom Hearts. And if the people who are Kingdom Hearts fans out there can listen to the story, listen to it carefully. Because for people who watch anime cartoons like anime cartoons on Adult Swim or um, Cartoon Network, people who watch this kind of things is a fan, you gotta listen to the story. Because if you don't listen to the story, you're not going to know what it is. So, okay, we can skip this because I already beat this game. So, I just can, I guess I can skip it. So, I guess not. So, um, this is Sora. This is a story about his, um, but you're trying to save Kyrie. And this is, I've been with him. All of this verbal stuff. So, we have to s wait. This thing is done. Um, I'm just gonna teach you the basics on how to play the game because um, this game is pretty long and the best thing for kids out there who's Kingdom Hearts fans is that it's best to play this game on a Sunday. The reason why you get more time, you get more stuff, it's easier to play it on Sunday rather than any other day because it's gonna take you a long time. Because you have to get items, potions. Um, you will have to get different types of key blades, which you have the regular key blade, and there will be other key blades as you process through the game. And Riku and his friends, 
Priory, um, and also Organization 13 is in this game, which they're at Castle Oblivion. So, as um, when you play this game, you have to talk to people, you have to do certain tasks, and you have to um, make sure you get all your items that you need. Like, um, if um, and even you have to fight Sephiroth, and well, I haven't defeated Sephiroth yet because he's a hard person because he, it's not it's not easy as it looks when you fight Sephiroth so Sephiroth is a really hard guy to fight he's, he's, it's all about skill and strategy to defeat him and if you want to fight Sephiroth you will have to um, get the ultimate keyblade or is any Make sure if you fight Sephiroth and you have elixirs, potions, um, um, you will need, um, you, you will definitely need a powerful keyblade. Doesn't have to be the ultimate keyblade, but if you have a keyblade that does such damage, then you will get the opportunity to fight, um, uh, Sethra, and you will also need the right attacks to defeat him. So, if you look it up on the internet and find which, um, find out how to defeat Sethra, which I already did myself, but I have to check on it again on how to defeat him because Sethra is really hard. So, um, as we go through the process of this game, this is the beginning part. So it says now step forward to the, okay, so I know I'm supposed to do this kind of thing in video, but my video on my computer is not strong enough, so so the, use the seat use the um I know you can see it but you must hear it. So um this is the control stick to move somewhere around and this is the camera view to move left right up down and which i put the tv on mute because i'm doing this recording and it might be a bit noisy so as you step into this it would say you have to follow these instructions on here now i've shown you power sleeps within you and it says if you give it with form, then it's going to say it will give you strength. So choose well. So in this game, you can press circle to jump. Then the next step, you go here, go next to that stone slab. Say there's a sword, a shield, and a wand. You can select any weapon you want. So if you're a first timer, you pick this one. So you, I think you gotta jump on it. This is not like the. Okay, the power of the warrior is invisible courage, a sword of terrible destruction. In this power, you seek. You select yes. Your path is set. So after your path is set, it was saying now you will get to give the exchange so now you can either select the shield or the the wand which is from King Mickey so if you want the shield you select the shield and if you want the wand you select the wand and you press the to bring out your keyblade you just press this button the X button okay and you can jump on top of here and this is the reason why I'm doing this recording so I can put it on YouTube so people can subscribe to it which will Dennis will show me how to subscribe to YouTube because you, you, you just don't wanna when you put your recordings on YouTube you don't wanna 
let anybody know about your YouTube what what are you doing so I might have to sus put a subscription so people who plays video games can subscribe to my YouTube with so they don't just go in it okay so like that now back to this you've chosen the Okay, you've given up the power to know this mistake, okay? It says, is this the form you choose? He said, I like, guess. Okay. Moving on. So, as Sora looks, he's gonna fight, oh, he's gonna fall down. Woo! Oh, that was a mean fall, look at that. Oof! That hurts. That really hurts. Okay. Oh, not Cinderella for him. Okay. okay, let's move on here. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, you've gained the power to fight. So, press X to attack. Alright, you've got it. So, Use this power to protect yourself and your party members. So the green gauge is based your hit points. Well, mostly my friend just call it HP or health points. HP points is really important because when you get low on HP, you will need items. And same as for magic points or magic hits or whatever. And if you run out of HP, you've been taken. And to the continue screen so let's press that the blue gauge shows the magic points so the blue gauge we use for your magic abilities and you don't have magic right now but you will in the process of the game the magic are fire, fire, lizard, lizara, magnet, magdara, magdaga, um, gravier, arios um, there's, there's some other secret magic skills too that you can get but you probably might have to um, look it up on the internet magic like blackout, blind, confuse, um, fusion, fire attack um, even you have your summonings too but we're not to that yet so just hold on so this recording might be a little bit long but we can always cut it short so it's 17 minutes we gotta stop at 45 okay now we gotta attack the heartless so you just do this attack the heartless then you've gained exp this is experience points so the least level that you can get especially if you're playing a beginner level is level 40 at the most or level 60 because no sense you get up to level 100 if you're not playing it in um, standard difficulty or proud but if you're playing if you want to beat the game again and if you want to get the ultimate weapon you will have to beat the game in proud why because that's how you can get more synthesized items easily by playing the difficulty level in proud so after you defeat uh, once you beat the game the first time and if you tempted to beat play the game again you can beat the game in proud if you want to get more synthesized items the ultimate weapon the ultimate weapon you have to beat it in either standard or uh, proud difficulty or even as the same for the other Kingdom Hearts games that I have so okay let's continue on that with enough EXP you gain a level so you gain a level so the monsters in this game of the enemies in this game are quite strong which are like Maleficent um, enemies like um, 
the one from Agarbra, Aladdin, um, from Tarvis Town, that armor guy, um, and the one from Hollow Bastion is when you fight Maleficent and adds Ansem the Wise, he's probably stronger. So when you before you fight Ansem, you might need um, potions, some elixirs, some mega ethers, um, tents, cottage, and and you might have to do certain sequences twice. Monstro is when you defeat that stupid um, jellyfish thingy. So, since you're in the beginning of the game, the least level is to get is to level 30. Because some enemies might be a little bit strong. So, si even though it's easy, even though you play it on easy difficulty, you don't want to take a chance. So it's always good to gain up a level. So okay, let's continue on. Furthermore, defeated enemies sometimes leave items behind. So every time you defeat an enemy, you get items. You would need it as you go along. Make sure you have enough to defeat the boss. If not, you are taking chances. Because you think you're all that at beating the boss when you think you don't. Because to always have items. Because if you don't use items and you're defeating the boss, you're putting yourself at risk. So always have items. It's not like you're a pro and you think you know how to defeat the boss when you don't. So same thing goes for enemies. You can take these items by walking up to them. Different items can do different things. So, like if you use an elixir, it will restore all your um, HP, MP from with you, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and Riku. Well, you won't be able to play as Riku in this one, but in Chain of Memories, you will. Okay, it's trying to start here. Behind you. Generally, you automatically target the nearest enemy before you. And But you can lock onto a specific by pressing the R1 button, which is, I think it's on the top. Let me see. As you can, I know, you, I'm showing you the buttons, but you cannot see in the picture, so I gotta show you in the audio. So, that is, you press. R1, oops, oh, unpause, then lock on the enemy, the lock on icon will appear on your HUD, so in your upper left corner of your screen, the target will be there, so you lock onto it, then looking onto a target limits the action available to you, so especially against other targets, so Always be where look, look before you lock onto an enemy. Or just lock onto an enemy, and you're facing the other way around, and you can't see it. So always look for it. Press the R1 to release it. Okay. So you attack the heartless. Oh. And I, I cannot hold, hold the control and hold the speaker at the same time. So you, <laughs> you know what I mean. Eh? It's not video camera, so I'm gonna like so just get the heart and get this thing. So you fight the heartless, turn around, attack. There you go. So after that, well, what's it doing now? Oop! So I said, tripping out. What are you doing? Oh my god, it's gonna get sucked into the hole! Whoa! So help me! Kyrie, Riku! <laughs> oh boy, now he's back down at this Alice in Wonderland one now. Okay. Get up, Sora. 
Come on, get up. Now uh, there's a door. Just check, look around. Make sure you're not missing anything. Okay. Well, right, hopefully we get to the pause menu in time. Because I've been done this recording for 25 minutes. You can go in an extra 20 minutes. Which I'm not sure if we can upload this to YouTube. Because at least, at least here YouTube recording is 15 minutes. So when it this icon appears examines pop-ups. So you can press the top button. So examine. So you can't open it, so it must be locked. So, so you have to find a way to open it. Okay. Get that treasure chest. If you open a chest, you just press up the uh, triangle key. Okay. Push the crate. I go behind it. Uh, can smash them too. So you got an item. So potions. The, the most important item you need doing your quest <coughs> doing your quest so use them with so use them wisely do not waste them you can also take these items by walking up to them okay So that door there is usually from Castle Oblivion. So okay, let's try this door. Okay, now the door has opened. Yeah, it kinda looks like the door from Castle Oblivion, but it's not. The door is wider than that. So you go through the door. This is what happened when I was playing the second part of the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix 2. So this story of Kingdom Hearts follows um, Chain of Memories at um, pretty much number 2. Uh, more about yourself. So if you had a person, you press the select button to first person view to look around press the select button again so you do this around here so you press the heck look around go up this way, that way. Okay. You get out of the view. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole recording just to get to the first part, so as in case you know it freezes, so as you talk to the person you go by, you talk to them. What's the most important to you? Being friend. So if the person is talking to you about something in the game, so you select any of these three categories being number one, for example, prize possession. So you can select any one of these. But since you're playing the game for the first time, select this. Big, such a big deal. <laughs> so, let's try to talk to the person again. So you selected big deal, so and this is another person you can talk to. To wear sights to broaden horns to be strong. You wanna fight enemies, so you gotta be strong. Be strong, huh? Okay. And here's the last guy. 
stop the hand. Being different, being condensed, something like, like that. So, it says you like to collect neat things. You want to be strong. To, you're being dissensive. So that's the three categories you just selected. So, your adventure begins in the dead of the night. Your road won't be easy. But rising sun awaits you, your journeys end. So, the day you will open the door is a very near. So the least I can go on this recording is 35. Because we don't want to make it go over. Because when you put this kind of stuff on YouTube, YouTube won't take long recordings, so remember that. So now we're on here. That's the start button. Okay, we might have to stop right here. Okay. In the main menu, you can do things like view your inventory, your status and configure your game settings however you can open the menu during the battle okay I'm gonna fight some heartless again swing the sword I know you can't hear anything, but I'm doing a recording here, so can't make any noise. But it's not gonna hear good because I'm talking through a Bluetooth. Because namely, if you're doing a recording, especially for these kind of stuff, you will need a microphone. Because when you hear it on um, on your speaker, it can be a bit static. So always use a microphone to record your voice be better okay now we're on going to the save menu so that icon there where Sora is standing and it said this is a save point so the touch save points to recover HP and your magic points so always save your game you never know when something might happen so it's Especially if you had your system for a really long time with somebody from Special Olympics gave me this PlayStation system I don't know how old it is because you know it might freeze during gameplay so if you're using if you had your um, gaming console for a really long time it's always to be sure to save your game because you never know when the system will freeze so press the up button to open <coughs> to open <coughs> to open the save menu okay So, before moving on, and remember, if you forget to save the game, and you play the game and you, you're so desperate you want to defeat the boss, and like say someone distracting you playing your game, and then you forget to save it and you even turn it off, it's your fault. You gotta make sure you save your game before doing it head on do something else so hit the save oh come on eye twitching oh, I get enough sleep so hit the save menu hit that so it would say that the game will be saved 
if it takes a little bit of a while that means you have to check your filing system you might be full with files because it's not good you're trying to save your game and if it takes a little bit longer you have to check if um if your files are full on your system okay this is your party screen no party members the menu so this is the uh, items Let's check your items you have all this stuff your power ups your AP ups I recommend you get plenty of those because even though you're playing in easy mode you don't know you don't know what might happen the boss might be easy the boss might be hard you know the boss can be tricky so always stock up on items you never don't be um mr vigilante on yourself and defeat the boss without items so and your abilities is here if you don't have any right now customize you can customize your set but you don't have any magic here right now so status let's check your status so this is your status menu this will tell how much points to get to your next level so weapon which you at the dream sword you select accessories is ribbon and necklace but since you're playing it in easy mode, I might not sure you might be able to get the ultimate weapon because the synthesized item that they give you, the enemies give you, is the weak ones. The only way you can get good items, and if you want to get the ultimate weapon, you will have to you you have to destroy the mushroom, the mushroom heartless, and. Uh, um, you will have to defeat different kind type of heartless not the regular heartless enemies the regular heartless enemies would give you like a uh, um, mithril or bright shard thunder thunder shard force jam any kind of different material items that you might need so in this section you have your dream sword accessory and exp necklace items you only have a potion so let's get out of here this is your configuration setting target lock control final mix so if you're playing a game so you cannot select you set you cannot change the difficulty setting because it won't let you set it up so in default settings you can cancel the settings and switch it here but you can change this stuff on automatic auto lock which this <coughs> auto lock means the automatically lock on in the nearest target press the X button to view the controller settings so it's the you know, lock on call help special action command execute the command so, first person view, menu pause, move saw around, uh, jump, special action, and so action you press this button, one of the buttons. So if you're going to change the control settings, I recommend you do not, because if you do, it's going to be a lot difficult to control. So always leave it always leave the controls basic so because if you change it it will be harder to figure out so just execute command so execute special ability button you press that one that's the square and you press to execute the selected command so you press the X button you gotta press it twice so, and this will rotate the camera in the field by pressing the R3 button to shift the camera behind Sora and the rest of his party members so let's get out of here and this is the save menu you can 
save you check it's the same file on here so we go up here get to the main part walk up <coughs> sorry for the cough Ooh, 40 minutes I think we gotta stop already yep we went over we went over the time limit so that's it for now and thank you for listening to this recording and if you want to subscribe to my YouTube which me and Dennis will show me how and look it up to a YouTube account and um, learning how to subscribe to YouTube because mainly when you um, do a YouTube recording you will have to subscribe to, to, to let the person view the, the the video that the person want to watch because that's the only way you don't want to let the person just get into your video without a subscription because some YouTube videos you need subscription because I never subscribed to a YouTube video before which Dennis will explain and show me how to do it and thank you to listen to this recording and I will do another recording about something maybe somewhat some other times with this other things to do on the computer than just taping yourself because people people like to hear talk but once in a while you know get a rest on it you know because you gotta take a break sometimes so thank you to this whole 41 minutes we went woohoo and the do the Luke King songs go Bye-bye.